What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you can hear me. So we have my buddy Jimmy in the background, as you can tell right here. He's actually helping me on the bed of the 98. Um, we're replacing all the bed rails, which the new ones are here in the box. We're not gonna use this front one right through here, um, just because we didn't take the front one off of the bed, because it's about the only good one that was salvageable. Um, I mean, all through here is nice. There's a little bit of like surface rust and stuff. I gotta get this bolt out. But other than that, this side's decent. All these ones, all through here, were shot. Um, as you can tell, just pitted, rusted, cracked everywhere. And let me tell you, the material from this to whatever they made this out of, um, this stuff here, I mean, it's thick. I don't know how well you guys would be able to see. Hopefully, they, yeah. I mean, it's got some, I don't know, it's thicker than probably 18 gauge. Uh, it, might be, it might be 16, 14, somewhere through there. But um, what happened is when we took um, all these rails out, obviously it caused the floor to sink. So now we're gonna use a jack to just jack it up. And I'm just gonna weld right across here, probably skip one weld, skip one, just to get that all nice and level through there. Um, Jimmy was kind enough to come down and help me yesterday get all these off. The back bolts we have to get out also. So what I'm thinking is I might find a nut that might fit down around there. I don't know if I'll be able to screw it on, but it'd be great if we could screw it on. Screw it on, take the welder, weld that thing solid, and hopefully buzz that out. We set blaster on there. Um, I sprayed it on there a couple times yesterday just to kind of work down through there and break those free. Um, hopefully we can get that, and then we have to worry about getting this piece out. This new section is right there on the floor. So we have to drill out a couple of these spot welds and then these spot welds and then do a couple of these bolts and hopefully all this will come out. But for now, we're gonna try and get a couple of these at least tack welded in and then call it a day. I was gonna drill holes through here or use my uh, hole punch tool, but that's a lot thicker metal than what that was. And I was actually talking to Jimmy. I was like, I don't think that's gonna work to hole punch through there because first of all, that hole punch is used for like sheet metal, so like your body panels and stuff, not whatever they made this stuff out of. So yeah, props to them making these bed rails here because they are nice and sturdy, but I'm not sure what material they use to coat these in. Um, you start sanding on it and it just kind of flakes off, so it's all over the place, so. Jimmy grabbed the camera. So what we come to find out is we can get the front pretty level, but let me show you here on one of these pieces. The, I'll call it the wings on the pieces. They're slightly, instead of being flat, they're kind of bent up a little bit. So I'm hoping to show you guys as best as I can if you guys will be able to see it. They're slightly bent up, which is causing us an issue, obviously. So we lay it flat. And then you can see right through here, it's nice and flat on the edges, but once you get towards the middle where the bed kind of sags a little bit, we're having an issue. So we're using the jack to jack it up, but we still have, what's happening is, is the wing is here and then the floor is here. So we kind of, I'm either trying to fill the weld or we're taking the big hammer, where are we? Yeah, these two. And then we're just kind of holding it 
and then smacking it to bend that piece flat. So it's kind of a work in, work in progress, but it's, it's gonna be a lot better. Um, I'm doing welds down both sides here. I'm kind of skipping some here and there, um, just so I don't get it real hot and we end up do warping the bed. It's just all sorts of messed up. But um, I told Jimmy, these are probably some of the best welds I've laid in a while. Um, like these ones here, that one. Um, that next one's kind of gobbled up. But um, they're pretty, pretty good, and I said it's gonna be sad. So what we did for lining our holes up here is I grabbed a tape measure and then I come over to the actual truck itself and measure from outside of the hole. So from the outside of the hole here to the inside of the hole on the front one. It ended up being like 21 something and change. So what we did is I welded this first cross member in the middle. We took our two measurements, came down, tacked it on one side, took our measurement on the other side, tacked it so we knew we were um, good to go. And then obviously these two cross members here in the middle won't really matter as long as we get them lined up with the old, um, the old outline. So once we get that done, um, the back one will definitely have to be in line because it's got the bolt holes that go through it. So we'll get that one measured out as well, same way, just measure hole to hole and go from there. But now it's moving along. Um, we're gonna keep going. Hopefully get, a, like I said, a couple of these just packed in, roughed in, then I can always come back and weld later. So we're gonna get at it. Okay guys, so it's gonna basically, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, we got quite a few of these welded in. Uh, I got them pretty much welded into where they're gonna stay. Uh, so, all these three are welded in. Um, fourth one, hopefully I'll get to uh, maybe tomorrow after work. I might come down here and just knock it out real quick. Get to the bed ready for primer, hopefully Tuesday. Uh, we'll get this one welded in, get everything cleaned up. I gotta fix these two bed rails. Yeah, that got that big dent out of here. Um, I just need to take this bar out and kind of finish up through here. Um, and then I'll do a little bit of body filling. Same thing up here. This obviously bar is bent. So I need to undo it, throw it in the vise, bend it back straight, and get this one together. But other than that, um, I have to change out that um, new inner wheel well here. This section I'll be changing. Obviously I didn't get to it today. I gotta grab my drill from my house, drill off some of these spot welds. And I'm hoping I'll be able to kind of scoop it out. Uh, we'll see. And then while this piece is out, I'm gonna definitely scuff in behind um, the arch well here and probably coat it with some like POR 15 or something. Because if you look down and definitely this angle here, you can see there's a little bit of rust back behind there and I don't want this bed rusting out. So uh, get that taken care of and then we're gonna get it primed. We'll uh, let it sit for probably two to three days and get the bottom scuffed. And then I have some leftover Raptor liner. I'll probably end up just coating the entire thing. I think I have three or four bottles. Um, so we'll get it all coated. Uh, I've seen a guy on Facebook, not sure what his name was, but he did the bottom of his bed and actually his cab in it. And he said it held up great. So that's gonna do it for today. We have to get, I think, three more of those bolts out. Okay guys, so I was gonna make this like a part two to this video, um, replacing this outer arch well here. Um, but I decided I'm just gonna throw it into this video too. So what I did here is I drilled all these spot welds out. Um, I just used some liquid wrench. Um, it definitely makes it a lot easier and it gives the drill bit some lubrication so you're not dry drilling it and wearing out your drill bit. Um, and it also helps from flinging the shavings everywhere. As you can tell, I did this, um, these two here, Oh, excuse me, these two here, shavings flew all down here and stuff, but when you put lubrication on it, they stay right here. So it's pretty much easy, just take a shot back, clean everything up. Um, 
But now I'm gonna come in and hopefully drill out these ones here, here, all the way along. And then I'm hoping I'll be able to undo this bolt and then this little one over here. And maybe I might have to bend this lip up here. And then I'm hoping I can take this side and just bring it up. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then I have this piece back here to weld in yet and then I have to finish just kind of going through and just making sure I got them all welded. So I'm not gonna bore you guys too much. I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully get these ones drilled out and then I'll bring you back um, once we go to put this one in. The reason why I drilled all the way through is when I go to put that piece in there, I'll be able to come back and just plug weld all those holes up and then just grind them down and it should look factory. Um, it may not be 100%, but it'll definitely be better than um, trying to like come up underneath like this area and try and weld. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get those drilled out and hopefully get that piece thrown in. Okay, so hopefully you guys can tell that I got that part removed. Um, so what I ended up doing was taking vice grips and bending this flap up on both sides. It doesn't need to be like that all the way through um, because it's only the corner parts there. So here and then this part here is what's tucked up underneath of that lip. So I bent it up. Um, I just took the uh, air hammer and broke all those spot welds across there. I'm gonna take the grinder in there and clean all those up smoothly. But you guys can tell just, I mean, it's got some surface rust in there, got a little bit here, not too bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this all sanded down, probably throw some primer and stuff on this um, because I am gonna be doing a undercoating or truck bed lining on the bottom side. So I'm probably gonna hit up in this area, hopefully you guys can see it, hit it up in this area um, before I put that new piece in. I'm going to get this part sanded down pretty good. Um, there's still plenty of metal there. Um, same like down here, there's a little bit. So I'm going to try and get this coated as best as I can uh, before I put this new piece in there because I don't want this rusting out in two years. So we're going to go ahead and, whoa, autofocus. We're going to go ahead and get those sanded down and then get some uh, primer shot on it and then throw some undercoating down there. So here's what I did guys, I just took some 220 grit sandpaper, went over everything, hopefully you guys can see that all right. I'm gonna flip up this screen, kinda see what I'm looking at. So right up in here is the bulk of what was rusted, and then right here. That's actually a small hole. Um, I was contemplating welding it, but when I go to put that new panel in, it actually sits right over top of that. Let me grab the light here. Right over top of that hole right there, so I'm just gonna get some fiberglass, do a little bit of fiberglass work, um, kind of mold it, be good to go. And then everything else I just coated nice and heavy with some primer. So it is a little runny, as you can tell, have some runs and stuff in it. But no, the stuff I'm gonna spray on it is this Rust-Oleum undercoating. It says rubberized, but I actually sprayed this stuff on my fenders, which are up there on the top. And it didn't stay like super rubbery, like the GM undercoatings on some of the new vehicles. It actually hardened up. Um, not super hard to where like if you're driving down the road and like a rock were to bounce up and hit it It's not gonna crack into a thousand pieces. It, it's It's kind of hard to explain it. It stays kind of soft to where you can paint it and stuff and If you take like your fingernail and scrape it It's not gonna like come off on your nail or anything, which is great So I'm gonna take this stuff and just shoot it all up in here Like I said, I'm gonna try and just coat everything I can um, I know if you go to like Tractor Supply, um, Rural King, I know some of the automotive places have this. It definitely varies in price because I know Harbor Freight has the same stuff and it's like $12 a can there. I actually picked a couple of these up from um, one of the tractor stores. <coughs> Excuse me. It was like $4.99 when they rung it up on the register. So if I would have known it would have been that price, I probably would have grabbed like 10 cans. Um, I might try and run up there maybe tomorrow and grab some more. Um, but no, other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this shot 
And then I'm gonna get this other cross member piece in here and get it tack welded in a couple spots. I'm gonna try and get those bolts out, but we'll see. But I just wanna kinda of give you guys a update, heads up to see what it exactly looked like after I got done. So uh, here in about, I don't know, 30 minutes, this whole thing should be pretty black underneath there. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick update here. Um, I've done quite a bit off camera. Uh, just trying to get some of this stuff knocked out, a bunch of little piddly stuff here and there. So as you can tell, we got all this coated all the way up and around. I'm gonna let it sit, and then back here, I've just been doing some welding. Got this piece and welded in, fantastic. Like, look at them. Oh, oh, maybe, if it'll focus. Yeah, perfect welds. And then I started looking and I was like, man, the support brackets that are kind of keep that together, and then your wire um, taillight harness or whatever runs through here. It's like, those pieces are gone. So I've made a bracket, me being me, I totally forgot to drill the hole through it to run the wire. So I'll have to come back and just drill a hole out of it. And then hopefully you guys will be able to see, I'm gonna try and set the light up somewhere here. There we go. So as you can tell, this piece here um, basically is your support for like your tailgate bracket and stuff. This side's good. Um, not really any rust up in there. Well, the this side, as you can tell, it's got some rust. So I had to build a new one. Um, I am no fabricator by in, any means, but um, that's how it turned out. So all I did is basically copied that side. So there's two bolts that run through there. Um, I took the top one out. Um, the piece was obviously just broke up in there. Uh, I might have to reinforce through here somewhere. I might build another one of these to stick on the opposite side of the bolts there. But what happened is, if you just follow my finger, so I had to bend it here, bend it straight, do a small bend, and then bend it back. And not having any tools, um, like, I don't know what I wanna say, like metal fabricating tools, all I have is a vise and a couple hammers. As you guys can tell, hammer and hammer, and there's another one somewhere around here. So we kind of made it work. Um, what I did is I had to notch right down here in the first bend, where my fingertip is, for the tailgate hinge, and then on the back side where I welded the top of it right here, I notched out for the tailgate bolt that goes through. So if I ever need to replace that, I can. It's not welded to it or nothing. And then I ran drilled a hole for that um, bolt to go through. I welded a new nut on the back because the old nut is right here. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. I'm gonna try and lay it in my hand. But right on the top of it there, yep, you can see it. There's a crack and it goes all the way through to the front there. And I didn't want to reuse that and then end up cracking and then that bolt not holding. So I welded a new one on there, everything, I mean, it's nice and sturdy. Well, obviously that isn't up there because it's not bolted down, but I think that should be fine. I drilled the two spot welds out, re-welded those up, welded the top there, welded it down the bottom, and then welded across the top, and then I have that bolt in there. And all that piece is doing is holding, like supporting the tailgate and stuff. So not a big deal, um, but it's kind of a big deal. So I just wanted it to be safe. I might flip the bed over and then kind of try and tackle it from the top side too, like up in this area if I can, like maybe fix something up in there. But now I'm gonna build a bracket for this side yet and then that should be it other than welding nuts on and getting those um, bolts out. But other than that guys, the bed's pretty much done. I just have to put that piece in and get those bolts out and that, that's, it's gonna be ready for primer. So um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Um, but I uh, thank you guys for sticking with me on, I know this stuff's not very interesting and whatnot, but um, anyway, remember learning as I do, doing what I love. I'm the GM man, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Get everything cleaned up. Um, get the bed ready for Oh, but okay. <laughs>